Welcome, you guys. It is Diesel Nations. Let's get freaking obsessed. Team call. It is December 11th, 2017. We have a very, very, very special guest, Autumn Calabrese, who will be jumping on in about two minutes. So be patient. She's going to take the whole front end of the call, sharing her insight into this amazing 80 day program called 80 day obsession you guys know my name is christina delgado i'm the co-founder of diesel nation there are both coaches and customers on this call so welcome everybody we hope that by the end of this call and we're thinking it might go about an hour because there's so much information and motivation um, to share with you guys that you know what to expect with 80 Day Obsession. You are fully prepared for Thursday's pre-launch of the packs that are gonna be available, and you are aware of the exclusive coach test group that Autumn is going to be running starting on January 15th. Very exciting. It's gonna be the first time that this is done in the history of Team Beachbody where anyone, Anyone that is a coach that purchases one of these bundle packs on Thursday all the way up until January 14th can participate in a test group with Autumn herself. And we're going to ask Autumn to kind of share um, what that's Our going audio. to be like. Is Autumn on? Did I hear Autumn? I know someone just came on and I can hear you. So I'm going to mute all one more time. Um, again, you guys, 80 Day Obsession has been a program that has really changed me from the inside out. I was struggling uh, right before I was invited to come into the test group um, in July of this year. I, I was kind of molding my, my whole persona around this fit-ish lifestyle. And what I was doing was really just making excuses for not pushing hard in my workouts, for drinking a little bit too much wine and margaritas, for just not being proof that the products work 100%. So when Autumn invited us to this group, I said, this is either going to prove that I can't lose weight because I had totally convinced myself of that. And I know in speaking to so many of my customers that they're in the same boat that I am, they're like, well, I just can't change and my body's changing. And, and we use the, well, I'm getting older excuse. And for me, I had this procedure done and I was so convinced that that procedure was causing my weight gain when in all actuality, I just needed to dial it in and work a little bit harder. And that's how 80 Day Obsession changed me. In 80 workouts, so that's going to be something that we address tonight, it's 80 workouts 93 days because it is a 13 week program i lost 20 pounds and 14.5 inches um i fell in love with not only the the structure of the workouts but also the nutrition plan which we are going to talk to you guys about tonight and i hope that not only in sharing our inspiration and our feelings about this program and hearing autumn herself because she's so jazzed up about this, you guys. This is her baby. She'll, you know, she worked on this for a year. Um, that you guys are ready, mentally, physically, and all of the above, ready to tackle this program all in, all in come January 15th. So um, let me just check to see if Autumn has jumped on. All right, I don't see her just yet. If she is, can someone give me a shout out if you see her on? Maybe Paulina, you can message me. So a lot of questions are surrounding the pre-launch that is happening um, on Thursday, right? And, and I say that this launch is a little bit complex is because there's so many options available to you. On the customer side, right, there's going to be customer bundles um, associated with this program. Um, the significant difference between the, the the packs that are available is the addition of the performance oh she's on okay so i can stop stop trying to kill time here let's see autumn are you there are you there uh, Pauline? yes yes I'm there. okay good, good, good. <laughs> all right i'm gonna put you on i'm gonna go on speaker view so that when you start speaking there she is yeah. okay um 
I was just killing time before you, you jumped on. I shared a little bit about my story. But you guys, without further ado, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to toss it over to Autumn. She's going to talk to you about the program, maybe even touch on this exclusive coach test group that's going to be happening. Um, we have coaches. We have customers on this call. So let them have it, Autumn. All right, so let me ask you, since we have coaches and customers, I was sort of talking with um, Becky earlier today. Do you want me to, because what I don't want to do is sort of hit them with the same information they've already been given. I want to make the most use of our time so that it's super beneficial. So I've done all these calls differently. If people want to start asking questions, they can put them in the chat and I can let that sort of lead our discussion a little bit because usually one question leads to the next and, and we end up going to really great places. If you have any questions, Christina, or any topics that you want me to start with while they start typing in questions, I can do that. You tell me what's most beneficial. So we can do questions, but I always love, and, and I don't think even some of the coaches on this call have heard kind of the background on this program on how, okay. you know, you wanted the booty program and you needed more time, except, you know, that whole story I think is very important that they understand that, you know, this was a, you really crafted this, you know, piece by piece so that it had this intended effect. So if you can talk about that, that'd be great. Yeah. So actually you guys, the idea for this program has been around for over two years because a little over two years ago, Carl presented two ideas to me at the same time. And he said, country dance program and butt and abs program. And he said, I think I want to do the country dance program first. And I was like, okay, great. And obviously we, we did that. We got to developing country heat. And the funny thing was, is when we were developing country heat, um, Backstory on that, we went through like eight versions of Country Heat before we landed on what that was supposed to be. And there was a time where Carl was like, I think you need more time on the dance program. What if we just flip it over to the button, the uh, abs program? And I was like, no, 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 no. Let me finish what I started over here. And I'm so glad that he did because had he not, this program wouldn't be what it is right now. And I'm sure some other amazing program would have come to be as the button abs program, but it wouldn't be what 80 day obsession is because we didn't even have the technology to do what we did right now, like how we filmed 80 day obsession. So, um, so obviously we did country heat and, and literally like two days after I finished filming that program, I went right into myself. I went right into like, full focus on button abs and like, okay, what do I want this program to be and that sort of thing. And for, you know, for Carl, it was very much obviously an aesthetics thing. Like he's the CEO of a health and fitness company. So his thing is like, what are the buzzwords? What are people wanting to focus on? Everybody's talking about their butt. Everybody's talking about their abs. Like that's a big deal. Give me that program, Autumn. And I was like, great, but we're, we're going to do a functional program, right? And he's like, well, yeah, obviously. And um, so for me as a trainer, what was really important was for it to be super functional because the aesthetics will come. But I started to think about, okay, what is going to make this different than everything we already see out there? And what is going to make it more effective, really? Not just, because it's not about the way it looks. I, I care less if I give you guys fancy exercises or not. What I care about is if it does what it's supposed to do. And what, priority number one is the fact that our glute muscles, our butt muscles, our huge muscle in our body. And for most of us, they don't function the way they're supposed to because we sit on our butts all day long, literally. So those muscles don't even fire properly. We can't even figure, we don't even have the mind body connection to make them fire or, or activate properly. Same thing with our core. We sit all day long. Nobody's sitting with beautiful posture, right? Like you don't see people at their desk, like shoulders pulled back, sitting up nice and tall, typing. Everybody's like hunched over, feet up on the couch, like your abs aren't working and then everybody wonders why their stomach is sticking out and their lower back hurts and their hips hurt and their knees hurt and all this stuff. And it's because our bodies aren't moving the way they're supposed to. So it was really important for me to get these muscles working again and getting them turned on. And like I said, getting that mind body connection, you can lift all the heavy weight you want, but if the muscle isn't firing, if, if you're using your quad when you're supposed to be using your glute muscle, your butt is never going to do what you want it to do. It's never going to look the way you want it to look. It's never going to move you through time and space the way it's supposed to. Our butt muscles are what propel us forward to walk. They're what help us run. They're what help us climb stairs, sit down, stand up, and everything else. 
if they don't work right, if they don't turn on when they're supposed to, this is why other things get overused and injured. So, so like I said, one of the priorities was just getting the muscles to fire so that we could actually, then when we lift our heavy weights, something comes from that. And the same thing with our core. I can't tell you how many women complain to me and they're like, my lower abs, my lower abs. And I'm like, that's because you don't even know how to engage them. Like, you think you're engaging them, but you're not. And I can tell that because when I train clients and I walk around, I say, engage your lower abs, and they say, I am. And I'm like, no, you're not, because I don't feel it. It's not hard. Because um, I can feel the muscle, no matter, I don't care if there's a layer of fat over there or whatever. Like, you can feel if the muscle is working and engaged or not. So these were two really big components that I wanted to take into consideration. And then when you look at things like shaping the butt, chiseling out the abs it was it was a really big deal for me for this program to be longer than something like 21 or 30 days I like when Carl brought it up I was like okay but you know this isn't like a 30-day program right and he was like what like 60 and I was like yeah no like 80 or 90 I can get it done but also you know these aren't 30 minute workouts right and he was like Okay, but can you keep it at like an hour? And I was like, yeah, I can get it done in an hour. But like, these are things you guys that are really important. Like, I know we all want to get in and get out and get on with our day, but we need to start slowing down and shifting the focus back to the fact that you have to spend a little bit more time on yourself. You have, like, if you want certain results, they're not going to come from just working out 30 minutes a day. Like, yes, that will give you health and fitness at a certain level. But if you're looking to go to the next level, you're gonna to have to step up what you do. It's funny, I've had a bunch of coaches from the coach test group, I'll just tell you guys this really quick, the ones that went through it already, messaging me and being like, why am I losing my results, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, what are you doing? What workout are you doing? Are you on your second round 80 day obsession? No, I'm waiting to start that with my challengers, January 15th, I'm doing 21 day fix. And I said, well, I don't know why you would expect 80 day obsession results from doing 21 day fix, they're not, the you're not going to maintain the same results. <laughs> like, if you were going to get 80-day obsession results from 21-day fix, I would have made it 21-day fix. Like, I would have made it that easy. So this is the next level. This is what it's designed for. So, like, you have to be ready for that. But that was a major component in terms of fitness, and that's why I have things like the loops in the program and things like the sliders in the program. It allows me to very specifically target those muscles to get them to start firing, to get them turned on and functioning. So like I said, when we get to the heavy weightlifting, and there is a component of that in there, that those muscles are actually working and you're using your butt muscles instead of your back or you're using your core to protect your back. All of those things come into play. And then the other component was time nutrition. And time nutrition is actually something um, I've sort of – kind of presented to you guys in the past, but not exactly. And it was something I really have always wanted to, but it hasn't really fit in with any programs yet. It could have fit in with hammer and chisel, but we didn't go there with it. Um, when we did the container system, this is the beauty of the, of the portion control container systems. They have such a wide variety of usage that somebody who has no idea about nutrition at all can use them as like a gateway into understanding food and getting a grasp on food and just following food lists, right? And it's very easy. And then you're like, okay, I now have control over my food. And then I can turn that into something like carb cycling, like we do in 21 Day Fix Extreme, where we manipulate the way you use the containers a little bit. Or I can move it over to time nutrition, like we're doing an 80 Day Obsession, where basically I'm answering all the questions you guys keep asking me. What do I eat before a workout? What containers do I eat after a workout? When do I finish my yellows? When should I be done with my purples? I got to the end of the day and all I have left is a blue and an orange because I didn't mix and match my containers right. Now what do I eat? Do I have to eat them? So instead of you guys having the issues of, and a, a big thing that I see all the time is people going, I understand the containers, I just don't know, like I can't decide, like they're so indecisive on how to mix and match them that they, they can't end up making meals for themselves because they're like, well, I just ate a red container of chicken and then I just ate a green container of cucumbers because they literally just can't like think about, okay, well, how do I put X, Y, and Z together to make a meal, which is also the beauty of Fixate, by the way, the cooking show. But I do it now for you. An 80-day obsession, it's like, okay, meal one, it's these three containers go together. Meal two, it's these four containers. Meal three, it's these containers. Meal four all the way through your day. So you no longer have to guess which containers go best together. 
I'm pairing them up for you. You can decide what goes in each one, but I'm pairing them up for you. It's going to keep you fueled for your workout. It's going to fuel you for recovery after your workout. It's going to keep you fueled throughout the entire day so that your metabolism stays up and you're not starving. Trust me, you miss a meal on 80 day obsession, you're hungry. Like if you go four hours instead of three without eating, you're like, oh my God, I have to eat right now. Like because you're working so hard, your body needs that fuel. So that's really all time nutrition is. It's nothing, it's nothing mind blowing. The results are mind blowing because when I keep your macronutrients balanced all throughout the day, your healthy fats, your healthy carbohydrates, and your lean protein, there's a nice healthy balance at every single meal compared to some people who like, when you do the containers with 21 day fix, right? Some people are like, I hate vegetables, so I just put all three of my green containers together in a salad, and then I'm done for the day, and I don't have to eat them again. Okay, that's better than not eating them at all, but it's not ideal. You didn't spread your fiber out throughout the day. You didn't spread your phytonutrients out throughout the day. There's only so much your body can absorb at one time. So if you overload it with all those veggies at once, you're probably actually not absorbing as many of the nutrients as you could absorb if you spread it out throughout the day. So... Again, by me mixing and matching containers for you guys, I'm saying these are the ones that go best together to keep you fueled properly for maximum results. So it's not hard, it's not complicated. You just have to be dedicated to the process. It's going to require meal prepping in some capacity. There's a million different ways you can meal prep, but it's going to require meal prepping in some way, shape, or form. So just know that and be ready for that. Like. That's a part of the program. Um, so that kind of covers like where it sort of originated and how it ended up being what it is. And okay, can I stop video? Oh, somebody's unmuted. Sorry. And what I wanted to say was, uh, this is what I meant to mention before, the beauty of the fact that we waited to film 80 Day Obsession until when we did. It really allowed me, you know, like I said, well, one, we wouldn't have filmed for 80 days straight. If we filmed this two, two years ago, we would have filmed 16 workouts one time, and that would have been all there was. And although that would have been great, it wouldn't be the innovative program that it is today because filming for 80 days straight really allows me, you guys have heard me say this, it allows me to train people like I'm training a client in the gym, okay? It allows me to use progression and periodization, which are two major components to any good personal training program where week by week I can make little changes to the program. I don't have to change all the, the exercises. I can make little changes to the reps, to the sets, to how much weight we're lifting, um, to whether we're starting on our right leg or our left leg. Believe it or not, that matters um, by switching it up. If you always start on your one side, try starting on the other. You'll, it'll feel weird, believe me. Um, so all those things, it gives me the option to do that. And Honestly, I tweaked 80 day obsession all the way up until day 80. The day one when I was sitting in hair and makeup and I was looking at the calendar for what we were shooting for the week, I changed it. Like, and everybody freaked on me. They're like, but we already told the test group they were doing blah, blah, blah. I was like, I don't care. Tell them we're doing something else instead. They have the equipment, right? They don't know what to, I was like, change it. I'm changing it. I want it in this order instead. Like, Anytime I had the ability to tweak it to make it better, I did it. As I got feedback from the coaches, like certain things that they were saying, like if something resonated with them really strong and they posted about it, and they were like, oh, you mentioned da-da-da, and that was super helpful. I was like, great, I can emphasize that more tomorrow, or I can talk about that more tomorrow. When I'm sore or when you guys are sore, I'm sore. The background cast is sore. It's real because we're really going through it with you. Whereas with something like 21 Day Fix, we filmed each workout one time. I can only say so much about that workout. I can only cue that move in so many ways. And that's it. But this way, going through it four weeks in a row and making little minor adjustments over each time allows me to give you guys different cues. It allows me to talk about what you might be experiencing. It allows me to remind you about what self-care might be really helpful on that particular day. So all of those things, it even allows me to talk about nutrition within the workouts, like while we're doing it, to be like, today's repeat day, who's excited, what are you having, did you check out any recipes from Fixate? All of these things came into play because we filmed for 80 days straight, and we would never have that opportunity if we did it the other way. So that is a huge thing to, um, 
to, to embrace, to get excited about, to talk about. You never do the same workout twice. You have no idea what you're going to see when you push play each day. Whereas, like I said, when, when you did 21 Day Fix, once you did week one, you knew what week two and three looked like because you already did it. Once you, you do day one, you never see that day again. You won't ever see that outfit again. You won't ever hear that whatever we're joking about that day. Like, it just, it, unless you repeat the program, you don't see it again. So I think that that makes it really fun. Um, Christina, is there anything specific you want me to touch on right away, or can I start looking at the questions? So let me, let me just ask you this one question that we talked about during the test group, and then there's a bunch of questions that you can yeah. answer, but how much do you charge – per hour as a personal trainer? Okay, 200. Okay, so I did the math, right? It was 200 times 80 different <laughs> workouts, right? Well, see, my phone is live on Instagram, now I can't remember. Yeah, right, I'll do the math for you. You go do it real quick. I, I just wanna highlight the fact, you guys, that um, this program is so different. How much? How much? 16,000. Yeah. I was going to say it was because I think I had put you at 175. I, I totally cheapened it. it. You are definitely worth 200 an hour. But you guys, you have no idea. You are getting $16,000 worth of quote unquote personal training from one of the top industry leaders with this program. And as someone that has gone through the, the program, you feel like you are with Autumn in a, in a small group setting, learning from the best, being cued perfectly with the motivation you need just when you need it. I just wanted to highlight that point um, because that really hit me hard during this as I was going through the program and how different it is than any other of our programs. That it's not just a fitness program. You're going through like a process right? It's a process that you're going through. So I just wanted to highlight that, but there's questions. I could, the first one that came up was, you know, who's this program for? Like, can a, can a beginner do the program? Let me just really quickly touch on what you were saying about it's a process because I, I love that my coaches that went through the test group are saying that because here's the thing, you guys, marketing is marketing. And so what you're going to hear constantly marketed is, do you want a round butt and shredded abs? And it literally like, it makes me want to crawl out of my skin. And I have begged them to stop saying it and they won't. They're like, no, that's what everybody wants. And I'm like, I know, but can you just like, because I almost feel like in a way by saying that it cheapens it. And I'm not saying that you're not going to get those results. Like, yes, you will. But I'm like, it makes it sound so superficial. And the program ended up being so much more than that. Like it really is a journey that you are going to go through. That is so much more than physical. Like you have no idea what sort of transformations will happen in your life in those 30 or in those 80 days, those three months as you go through it, the way your mind adjusts, the way you start to learn yourself and go, Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I was an emotional eater or this was a trigger or like, I always self-sabotaged and just told myself I couldn't do it, but now I'm sticking to the program and seeing all these results. Like, there really is just this whole growth experience that happens when you go through the program that obviously I know that's not sexy and all of that for selling, but to me, like, I think that that's huge, right? Like, for me, if I was somebody that was struggling with weight loss and, and had tried other things and hadn't had success, I would want to know more than just, do you want a round butt and shred it out? But that's just me, I guess. And, and maybe that will work and that'll be great too. Obviously, like it'll be a trigger word and things like that. But just know that it's so much more than that. Like there's so much that happens in this journey and in this process. So get ready for that. And then, okay, so to address Christina's question about who's the program for. So anytime a workout program is designed, we always have a target audience in mind. Like, who are we writing this program for? We have to. You have to know who you're targeting a little bit. If that's important. But it always ends up being so much different than that. So when we first started developing 80 Day Obsession, it was like, I said, Carl, who, who am I targeting? Like, who are we appealing to? And he was like, you know, I would say somebody who has a baseline of fitness, somebody who's looking to take the results to the next level, 
and who has like 30 pounds or less to lose. That was sort of the, the target audience he gave me. And what that was good for was sort of determining the types of exercises that I could put and how hard I can push and that sort of thing within the program, right? Because somebody with 100 pounds to lose and somebody with 30 pounds to lose are quite cap are capable of very different things, technically speaking, in terms like just if you have 100 pounds on your body, you holding yourself up in plank is not going to be easy, okay? And we do a lot of planks in the program. So that being said, though, the program really, and I, I say this from watching the people who went through the test group, which was people of all shapes, all sizes, all fitness levels, anywhere from like no weight to lose up to over 100 pounds to lose. We had people in the test group. And they all had great results. So it really is for anybody who is willing to come into the program with a positive attitude. And I really sincerely mean that. Like, yes, I would prefer you to have a baseline of fitness. Be doing something leading up to the launch of 80 Day Obsession. I'm not saying you have to be in tip top shape, but it would be better if you had a baseline of fitness. But if you can come into the program and say, I'm going to just do my best and this is going to be my tool for me to do my best. It doesn't mean I'm going to do what Autumn does. It doesn't mean I'm going to do what the background cast does. I might not even do what the modifier does. I, I might be modifying the modifier. I might be doing less reps, less weight. I might hit pause 15 times. All of that is acceptable if you can stay positive about it and not be the person who gets discouraged and goes, oh, I'm not keeping up with Autumn. I fail. I suck. I quit. So, like, as long as you're not – sounds like somebody's snoring in the phone. That was, I totally heard that too. I'm like, is this a story? <laughs> I don't know. I put somebody to sleep, I guess. Um, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, so, so if you're that person, right, that can come in with that mindset, then it's right for you. If you're not, though, and this is where as a coach, it's really important to talk to your challengers. And as a challenger, it's really important to be honest with yourself. If you're not that person, that's going to keep a positive mindset, even if you have to modify the modifier, then it might not be right for you. If, if you're a, if you're a beginner, if you have, you know, 50 or 60 pounds or more to lose, just because like I said, the way some of the exercises are designed are, are not conducive to having a significant amount of weight to lose. But we had people like, um, Tulin and, um, Crystal and uh, blah, blah, blah. who was the other one? We had a couple of much bigger people in the program, like I said, 100 plus pounds to lose, who did amazing. But they just modified to whatever they could do. Like when we were doing planks on the floor, they were doing planks with their hands on the couch. And they would be like, I could only do four reps today. But the next week they were doing five or six reps. And then the next week they were doing eight. And so, and they were okay with it. They were just like so excited to be a part of the test group and getting to try the program that they were like, I'm doing my best, Autumn. And I'm like, I know you are. So that's all I ask for is that you do your best. And I think that that's really important to keep in mind is that um, you don't have to be perfect and it's your journey. You don't have to compare it to anybody else's. So. I agree. Um, uh, one question that keeps popping up, Autumn, is the nutrition plan and those that wake up early in the morning that have to, you know, are, are work early, that are used to doing their workouts uh, before heading to work. What's your I just record an answer to this question. Yes. And I'm like, I, I've answered this question 8,000 times now, but I will answer it again for you guys. Here's the thing. <clears throat> Yes, it is important to fuel your body before your workout. You are supposed to. And if you're taking on the program, I always suggest following it the way it's designed and the way it's written. It's designed so that you fuel your body before your workout, okay? Even if you get up at five in the morning, and it's, this is gonna be a little bit abstract because you don't have the meal plan in front of you right now, so it's, you won't quite understand what I'm saying, but you'll get it later. You'll be like, ah, now I see what she was talking about. So if you're the person that wakes up really early and maybe you don't want to eat a big meal before you work out, you have the option to sub out what is listed as meal one for your pre-workout meal. And meal one is a much smaller meal. And we did that on purpose, specifically for people who work out really in the more early in the morning, because you can make it your Shakeology meal. And that's a fast meal to make. It's a fast meal to drink. It doesn't sit too heavy in your stomach. It's easy to, easy to digest. So you might be tweaking the time in terms of normally you're supposed to wait an hour to an hour, like eat, wait an hour to an hour and a half, and maybe you're going to 
drink your shake and start 20 minutes later, that's okay because chances are you're going to digest it pretty quickly and that sort of thing, but at least you put fuel into your body. So it's covered in the nutrition guide, absolutely. Um, I understand, trust me, that not everybody is going to do this anyways, and they're going to be like, whatever, I'm the person who works out before I eat, and that's just how I'm going to stay. And you know what? Like, to each his own, there's only so much I can say. I wrote the program the way I wrote it because that's, in my opinion, the best way to do it. I do not think you can push as hard in these workouts if you've gone 11 hours without eating. Uh, I don't think you'll lift as heavy. I don't think you'll be as quick to recover. So... Again, the program is designed to push you. It's designed to challenge you in every way. It's designed to take you outside of your comfort zone. That might even be where we're talking about in terms of your workout time or the fact that you don't typically eat before a workout. All these things are different things for you guys to check in on and to try and that sort of thing to see what is going on um, with your body and what is the best way for your body. So fueling your body is really important. As, uh, let me just jump in here because I know there's some frustration around, you know, what we're used to doing. And I'm going to be the first. I'm not going to even let Autumn do this. I'm going to take it. You need to do something different if you want something different, right? I was used to working out in the morning, fasted, cardio, all that stuff, you guys. And I had to say, you know what? Autumn wrote the program this way. I'm going to do it this way and see if I get results. I will be 1,000% transparent that that first day that I had that pre-workout meal, I thought, oh my God, it's gonna, I'm going to puke this out in the middle of this workout. In fact, it was quite the opposite of what happened. I never felt stronger in a workout than that particular workout. And I realized that as we go through this process of this program, that these pre-workout meals are absolutely necessary. You guys, you're going to be doing leg day, booty day, total body cardio, cardio core, cardio flow, which is my nemesis workout. You try. I just, just try to do any of those hour long workouts on an empty stomach and see if you can get through them. When you're sumo squatting a 50 pound weight, you're going to need fuel to do that. So please, please trust that this program is written in a way to maximize your results. I did it. Becky did it. Minnie did it. Monica did it. Danny did it all to a T. We were able to check off at the end of the program that we followed the program perfectly. And all of us got killer results. I'm still eating time nutrition. I still cannot fathom, except the other day I did it and I almost died. I tried to do cardio core on an empty stomach and I was gassed out, you guys, out. Trust that the, the meal before the workout is going to help you not hinder you and if you can change your mindset which becky's about to touch on on this program mindset is everything the results will follow if can we stop the screen sharing thank you um if you come in resisting everything trust that that energy is going to prevent results because we saw it in the test group. We, you see it in any program, really, when you don't trust the nutrition plan, when you don't trust the workouts, which by the way, there's nothing not to trust here. It's flawless that you will get in the best shape of your life with this program. Okay, steps off soapbox. <laughs> I love it. Becky is on. I want her to jump in now. I'm going to mute myself. I know she has some questions for you, and then we'll let you go because I know you got to get to Dom and uh, no. your mommy stuff. I'm, I'm happy to be here. He's misbehaving, so I'm like, I'm going to go lock myself in here and do Oh, oh, no good, no good. Becky, you there? I'm there. Hey, Autumn. So Hi. sorry I'm late. How are That's you? Okay. Good. How are you? So, I have great news because my son Chase scored the winning shot, so we won. <laughs> our first playoff game. So I'm so sorry that I, I had to jump on late. You're um, totally allowed. Um, yeah, it was a total proud mommy moment. Like, <laughs> So um, we texted back and forth today and some of the things, you know, I know you've been hit with the same questions. and But one of the things that I know is overlooked a lot is rest and self-care. And you really pounded it into us, which is the first time ever in my life that I've had to think about that is about proper sleep, how that fuels our bodies, how we have to maintain. 
and you know and flexibility and stability but also stretching and foam rolling so if you could touch upon the importance of self-care and sleep in this program yeah you guys look this is the first program where you're probably ever going to see it actually prescribed like it's written in you'll see it in in the starter guide like there's like eight tips to like how to be successful and things that you need to do and sleep is one of them we live in this fast-paced world right where we just think that like there's no time for sleep it's sleep is like that's like a bonus if you're allowed to sleep right it's 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 a luxury to sleep and sleep cannot be a luxury it is an absolute necessity okay so we you know we do these things where we like brag about like oh my god i only got four hours of sleep and i've had seven cups of coffee now and look at me function in my day and that is nothing to brag about honestly like you get off the computer and go take a nap because if you've only had four hours of sleep that is not conducive to functioning well in life not just in your workouts but in life when it comes to your workouts and why it's so prescribed in 80 day obsession is because everybody thinks that all the beauty and the magic of building a really great body happens in your workout and that's actually not accurate at all all of the tearing down and beating your body up happens in your workout literally you tear your body down in your workout you tear your muscles on microscopic levels when you're lifting weights that's how you gain lean muscle because when it repairs it repairs stronger so all of that happens right like when you finish a workout, you're tired, right? You're exhausted because you just beat yourself up. When you sleep is when the magic happens because when you sleep is when your body goes into repair mode because you're not trying to do all these other functions, right? You're like, you're not trying to focus on work and take care of the kids and move your body from here to there, to there, to there. When you sleep, your body goes down, goes into full on repair mode. So you need it to repair from these workouts and to get your energy back up for the next day. And we even saw it in the test group when people weren't sleeping, right? Like one of the guys in the test group, his name was Brad and he was going through the program. He was crushing it, right? We were like six or seven weeks in, he was losing weight, abs were shredded and he posted a photo one day and he's like, not sure what's going on, I'm up five pounds. Nutrition is still on point, pushing really hard in my workouts. So I started messaging with him, like trying to get to the bottom of it, like, well, what's going on? Obviously, it's a little more shocking for a guy because girls can fluctuate like that based around time of the month and water retention. But for a guy, something sort of big has to be going on to fluctuate five pounds within a week. And come to find out, I finally, I finally touched on sleep with him and I said, you know, what's going on with your sleep? And he said, well, you know, I'm getting seven hours a night. And I mean, normally I get eight, but I'm still getting seven. And I said, well, are you getting seven every night compared to eight every night? And he said, yeah, this week, that's what it's been. And I said, well, you just lost a night's worth of sleep. If you typically get eight hours of sleep every single night, and then you go a week and you get seven hours of sleep every night, you've lost seven hours of sleep for the week. That's a whole night's worth of sleep. Try staying up for 24 hours and see how you feel the next day. Everybody looks at it like, oh, it's just what happened in that one day. And it's not. It, it builds up. It's an accumulation because he went back to sleeping eight hours for two nights and the five pounds fell right back off and the bloat fell right back off. We don't stop to think about what sleep does for us. I can tell you guys, last night I stayed up way past my bedtime and did not get anywhere near enough sleep. My workout this morning felt like death. It should have been an easier workout. It was a two by 15. It should have, like I should have blown through it. And I was like, felt like I was trudging through like sludge. I was like, I can't move. My whole body hurts the whole day. I couldn't focus. But the other thing that happens when you don't get enough sleep, and this is something else we don't stop to think about, your body will start looking for a readily available energy source, which means you're going to start craving sugar because sugar goes right to the bloodstream and you get an instant energy boost, right? Kids eat sugar, we're like, they're on, a net, they're on a sugar high and then they crash off of it. So you're going to, if you're not getting enough sleep, that's part of where our cravings come from is that we're not sleeping enough so we, we just want sugar, sugar, sugar. And when you're trying to stick to a meal plan that doesn't really include any processed sugar, it's a lot harder to do if you're constantly craving the bad stuff because then you constantly have to kick your willpower into high gear and fight it. And it feels like this constant struggle instead of just giving yourself the time to sleep, repair, and get the energy that you need so that 
you're like, yeah, no, I'm good. I don't, I'm not craving cookies. I don't need that. I don't need that seventh latte of the day and all that stuff. So, so sleep is really important as is the self care, as is things like foam rolling and stretching or Epsom salt baths or massages. If you can do them, any and all of those things are important. And you'll hear me talk about them on the daily and 80 day obsession, because again, when you're beating your body up, if you don't do something to work your muscles back out, to like massage them back out, be it foam rolling or getting a massage or like I said, soaking or whatever it is, that's how you lead to injury because you end up with tight muscles. You end up with knotted muscles and then you try to go into your next workout tight and knotted. And a tight muscle is not a functioning muscle. It's, it's not a strong muscle because it's too tight and balled up to contract and expand the way it's supposed to properly. So remember that. I know we all love being sore, and that's great. Trust me, you're going to be sore throughout the whole program. It's fine. Like, I don't know if there was a day in 80 days that I wasn't sore. But I got massages every week. I know that's maybe a luxury that I can have and not everybody can, but that's why I did a full foam rolling video for you guys. I did a full stretch video for you guys. There are plenty of options out there to take care of your body. And that's really what being obsessed is all about. That's where the name obsession comes from, 80 day obsession. It's not about obsessing about the number on the scale or the calories that you're eating. It's about obsessing about yourself and your, your, your health, your fitness, and saying it's okay for me to put this level of dedication on myself. It's not selfish, it's not conceited, it doesn't mean I'm being a bad mom or a bad significant other or father or whatever, it's just, in order to achieve a certain goal, you have to have a certain level of obsession to do it. That's really all it's about. Amen. I love that. Okay, so I've been seeing a couple comments going by, which really, I know this topic, you know that is important to me, and it's the not eating enough. I saw somebody comment that they eat a thousand calories a day. They'll die on this program eating that. So we talked about early trusting the process and the fact that you need to eat more on this program. I don't think people still, that doesn't click in their head that your body to build muscle, to have a healthy metabolism, you have to fuel your body. That deprivation doesn't work. And maybe coming from you, it'll click this time. So no plan A, please. No plan A. So you guys, here's the thing. Okay. Deprivation is for weight loss only. And even for weight loss, it depends on the type of weight loss program and, and that you're following as to how much deprivation you need for to actually have weight loss. So doing something like 21 day fix, okay, that program was designed, the reason we're in the calorie brackets that we're in with 21 day fix, that program was designed for people who had 50 plus pounds to lose. When I talk about this target audience when we're creating a program, 21 Day Fix was designed for people who were morbidly obese, basically. Now, I know many people have used it that were not obese or even overweight and have had great success with it just because they learned how to eat properly and healthy and all of that. But the, the formula in 21 Day Fix is a weight loss formula, and it is a big weight loss formula because, again, we were addressing sort of a, a – a group, a population of people that had a significant amount of weight to lose, so they have excess fat on their body to burn through, okay? But again, you have to take into consideration the type of workout you're doing, where you're at in, in your own fitness level. We have to stop uh, this mindset of, I always have to be losing weight. The number on the scale always has to be going down, otherwise I'm not making progress. Like. If you would have looked at Becky, you would have never thought she had a pound to lose on her body when she even started this program, okay? I would have never advised her to go into the weight loss formula, ever. I, in fact, I told her you're in maintenance from day one, and guess what? Even from maintenance, I think she ended up moving up one bracket from where she would technically be in maintenance. And she lost three pounds. So even though you look at her and there was like no real weight to lose, she lost three pounds of fat by eating more because the more lean muscle she was building, the more food she needed to fuel her body so that it would tap into the fat stores and burn those fat stores instead of tapping into the lean muscle. When you're eating things like a thousand calories a day, unless you are a very tiny person and very inactive, um, you're not going to build lean muscle. Chances are you're going to hold on to everything you put in your body, and which means you're going to hold on to more fat, even though the number on the scale might not say it. 
there will be more fat in your body um, because you're not giving it enough fuel to build lean muscle. It's going to eat into your muscle supply. I can tell you guys this, and again, I know it's such a hard concept to wrap our minds around, and it'll be easier once we start going through the nutrition program and through the workouts to sort of understand the way you're feeling and how I guide you to where you should properly be. When we started filming 80 Day Obsession, I weighed 107.5 pounds, which is actually a little bit light for me, but I had gone three weeks without working out at all because I was coming off of a major injury. So I lifted any weight. So I lost muscle mass, okay? I was 107.5 pounds and 21% body fat, which for somebody at my age, 21% body fat is athlete level, okay? So no number to be ashamed of or have an issue with at all right there. But for me, like I said, 107 is a little low for me. I, I sit more comfortably at 110 having the muscle mass that I like to have. So I knew for me I wanted to put weight on, but I wanted it to be lean muscle. By the time we wrapped 80 Day Obsession, I weighed 111 pounds and I was 18.5% body fat. I lost almost three pounds of fat off my body, but gained three pounds of lean muscle, six pounds of lean muscle. So the number on the scale went up. If the only thing I was looking at was the number on the scale, people would look at it and go, you weren't successful, you gained weight. But for me, it was exactly what I wanted. Now again, I ate according to that goal, I lifted according to that goal. So that if that's not your goal, don't worry, it's not like you're gonna gain weight on the program. But my point is, is that I was eating to make that happen. I eat in plan C. If I do my calculation for weight loss, I'm in plan A. If I, do my, if I do my calculation for maintenance, I think I fall one calorie below plan C. You guys, I eat in plan C. If I ate in plan B, I would kill somebody. Like, I am not a nice person to be around when I'm hungry. My blood sugar plummets really fast, and it is not cute at all. So, like, just be prepared that you might have to wrap your mind around something new and challenge yourself in a new way, and it's okay, don't be afraid of it. We have 80 days for the results to happen. You're gonna have to go through a process and there's gonna be some trial and error, because there's no one prescription that works perfectly for everybody. Oh, sorry, I was That's okay. so I love that, because that, um, I've told you how I feel about that subject, and I just, I try my best to you know, support what you put out and the mindset of eating more. And, and it just, some people are so resistant to trusting the process, which is so important because obviously you've tested this program and it works. Um, and that leads into the phase two that we had talked about how, and yet I remember in the test group vividly how, you know, people were, were doing well in the first phase and then the second phase, things started to change and doubt started to creep in. And, you know, on a short program, most people would have already walked away from it. But here you have such a long investment that it's the mindset, again, of knowing that you're in this for 80 days and that phase two is a pivotal time in this program. So if you could speak to that moment and how we can really hone our minds into getting, getting shit done in yeah. phase two. You guys, look, we say, like I say this all the time about trusting the process and that sort of thing. Anytime you start a new fitness program and a new nutrition program, you're going to have fast results right away. You're going to see the number on the scale drop pretty quickly in the first week or two if you're really following it, okay? And maybe even into week three and week four. That is normal. That is, that's what happens when you clean your nutrition up and when you start doing harder workouts and pushing your body more than you've done in the past. That's normal, okay? And like Becky said, when it's a shorter program, something that's 21 days or 30 days, by the time you get to the point where your body would start to slow those results down, you're already done and you're moving on to the next thing or you're taking a little break or something like that. So you don't stop to acknowledge, oh, this is sort of just the ebb and the flow that my body goes through when I'm doing a, fit a longer fitness program. You can't lose five pounds every single week for for 13 weeks. It's just not likely. I don't want to say you can't because again, if you had 100 pounds to lose, like when people did the 21 day fix test group and they weighed 400 pounds, we had people who lost five and 10 pounds every single week for almost a year because they had so much weight to lose. But if you only have 20 or 30 pounds to lose, you can't, it's not, 
realistic to think that your body is going to lose five pounds a week every single week. And if you have a big weight loss number in the first few weeks, inevitably by week three, four, or five, that number is going to slow down or even pause for a minute. That is your body's natural mechanism checking and making sure that everything's okay. Our bodies are incredibly smart. Smartest machine ever put on this planet by far, okay? It will stop and make sure that you are not dying. Literally, it'll do a check. It'll do like a full system check. It'll be like, whoa, wait, we just lost 10 pounds in, in four weeks? Pump the brakes. That's not normal. We don't typically do that. Are we getting enough food? Are we getting enough sleep? Is everything working properly? And you might just not see the number on the scale move. And that's what happens in phase two. And everybody, like Becky said, goes into panic mode and goes, oh my God, something's not working. I have to change it. I need to drop down four brackets and start eating in plan A. And that's the only way to lose weight. And it just like... I, no, you guys, seriously, I spent all of phase two either texting people on the phone with email and talking so many people off the ledge and being like, I just need you to trust me right now that things are still happening. Changes are still happening. This is where doing things like measurements, photos, checking your clothing, paying attention to if you're lifting heavier from one week to the next, if you're not getting as winded, uh, all of these things come into play. All these non-scale victories come into play so much in phase two of 80 day obsession because it's the phase where the number on the scale is not going to move as much. It just is what it is. Again, it doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. And then because you're building all this strength and your body is doing all of these awesome things and you're going to stay dedicated and you're going to stay focused on the nutrition phase three is when all of a sudden it's going to kick back in and you're going to be like, Whoa, wait a minute. It's, <laughs> It's week eight or week nine, and I just lost five more pounds. Like, I didn't budge once in phase two, and I lost five pounds the first week, week of phase three. It takes your body a few weeks to, to make sure that it's okay. Like I said, to go through those system checks and be like, okay, everything's working. I can start letting go of weight again. And you can't be afraid of that, and you can't stop or quit when that happens and so many people do that they get to that point where the number on the scale isn't moving as fast as they want it to and so they quit and go on to the next thing thinking that didn't work and they never give themselves the opportunity to get past that part it's not a it's not even a plateau because again if you're taking measurements chances are you'll see the measurements going down if you're checking clothes you'll see them fitting better if you're taking photos you'll see more ab definition so things are happening. You can't only look at the number on the scale. You have to be committed from day one to day 80 and just say, the only result I care about is day 80. Whatever happens in between is all the work I'm putting in to get to day 80. So you can't expect day 80 results on week, in, you know, week four or week five or week six. You have to do all of the work to get to the 80 day result. And I think that that's a big thing. Again, it's the mindset that people want to see 80 day results in 30 days. Well, you can't, they're only 30 day results. So bear with it, trust the process, stick with it the whole time. Again, if you're going to take the program on, just adjust your mindset from day one. I'm, I'm doing this no matter what. I'm sticking with it for 80 days no matter what. Even if I get off on my eating for a day or two, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to get back on track. I'm going to check in with my coach and be like, hey, I got off track. You don't quit. You don't have to start over. Life isn't a start over. You don't just do over every time something goes wrong. Like, you don't have a fight with your spouse and go, do over. Let's start over from day one of our day. Come on, we got we to gotta start back on the wedding day and take this process over. Like, no. You just work past it and keep going. It's the same thing with your health and your fitness and your nutrition. It's not going to be perfect. The point is to try. And even on the days when it's hard, you keep trying. Yeah. And there are days that are going to be significantly, I mean, even for me, I had days that I was sucking wind and it was hard. But those are the moments that it's like when winners are made. You have to focus on the positive affirmations. Tell yourself, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to get through it. I'm going to make it work. And you take it day by day. And th I think the, the magic here and what Autumn said is that this is not a magic pill. This is not 80 days and stop. It's a lifetime progress. And what you guys need to move away from is focusing on those 
the scale, which is obviously inaccurate because I mean, Tulin lost, I don't know how many three pounds, three pounds, three pounds, three pounds. like 20 something inches. Yes. And she looks completely different. Imagine she could have gotten frustrated and said, you know, screw this. I've only lost three pounds, but she worked her butt off and has transformed her body. So you guys need to get rid of the scale and start celebrating the wins, the, the, the clothing, the pictures, the energy, the better sleep, the fact that you're eating well every single day and you feel amazing. Those are long-term successes that are going to push you forward for the rest of your life. That's what I love about this program. I'm not going to go more into the mindset thing because that's like my next topic, but it all goes back to that. Like if you have to right now decide, it starts with a decision. You have to decide to take it day by day. Yes. So the last thing I have for you, which is exciting, is that the coach test group. Yes. So I know we have challengers on here, so I apologize because this is a little business talk, but um, this is a big deal, and this is where I'll go a little bit on my soapbox for a few minutes and say that, you guys, the business of being a Beachbody coach right now is not the same business it was three years ago. It's not better. It's not worse. It's just different, okay? And... Three years ago, when 21 Day Fix came out, you guys had the pleasure of having infomercials running, multi-million dollar infomercials, media put behind a product. So all this advertising was being done for you, okay? Well, unfortunately, gone are the days of infomercials. And that, that's nobody's fault, it's just that's technology's fault. Nobody watches TV anymore. So unless you guys wanna all go back to watching commercials and stop watching Netflix and Apple TV, we can't put out infomercials anymore because nobody's watching them, okay? So that being said, as a coach, you probably have to do a little bit more work than maybe you were doing three years ago where you did three posts and you talked about the number one infomercial, which was 21 Day Fix, and all these people came and found you, okay? Because not like social media, even three years ago, wasn't as saturated as it is right now. Right now, everybody calls themselves a fitness expert. I swear to God, anybody that curls a dumbbell calls themselves a fitness expert. It's a little bit frustrating, but it is what it is. And so we have to compete with that already. So you have all of that going on, which means you have to do a little bit more work. And in doing a little bit more work, you need to invest more into your business. Being an entrepreneur doesn't mean you work two hours a day. And if that's what it means to you, then you need to be prepared to make the salary of somebody who works two hours a day. And, and if that's all you're doing, that's okay. Like maybe that's all you're looking for is just, you know, Becky, when you first started, you were looking for an extra 50 bucks a week to, to buy diapers and that's perfectly acceptable. But if you're looking to make six figures and more, you're going to need to put in the hours of a six figure or more job. And that's at least eight hours a day. The beauty of being an entrepreneur is that you choose where you're doing it from. Are you doing it from home? Are you doing it from the comfort of the beach? Are you on vacation with your family? You choose the when you're putting in those eight hours. Maybe you're not a morning person. You don't want to get up at 6 a.m. So you start at 10 a.m. Great, that's fine. Maybe you want to work at night once your kids go to sleep. That's okay. That's That to me is like the comfort of, of being your own CEO, right? You don't have anybody to answer to, but you still have to do the work. And part of doing the work, and the reason I'm rambling about all this, is that the work is being educated on what we have. You have to be willing to make that investment, both financially and time. So this coach test group, in order to be in it, I had somebody complaining to me and was like super angry that we didn't tell them there was going to be a coach test group before a little obsessed. Well, we didn't know there was going to be a coach test group before we felt a little obsessed. So I know everybody bought their loops and they bought their sliders. Right. To be in the coach test group, if you buy the Obsession Accessory Bundle, what it's forty nine ninety five because there's going to be a discount for the first month. Okay, guys, I don't care if you have loops and sliders already, but pay the forty nine ninety five. That is an investment into your business. It's not about whether or not you have loops or sliders. If you already have them, well, first of all, the loops are giant rubber bands; they rip all the time. So now you got an extra set, or you give it away. You do it as a free gift to maybe a new challenger or something like that, whatever you want to make of it. But it's a $49.95 investment into your business because when you come into this coach test group, you are learning from me, the creator of the program. You are not going to learn anywhere near as much from anybody else because nobody else can get inside my head, right? It's a scary place to be sometimes, but 
Point is, is that I'm going to be in there with you guys every single day, just like I was with those 110 coaches that went through the original test group. I'm in there. Ooh, hold on one second. Give me, uh, give me five minutes. I'm on a coach call and I'm going to call you right back. Okay. Bye. Okay. Sorry. My sister is like ringing my phone 18 times. I'm like, just wait. <laughs> She's like, you said seven. So, um, so anyways, being in there and learning from me is going to be key, right? Because even if you're not going through 80 day obsession, maybe you're not ready for it. Maybe you don't want to take it on. It's still your job as a coach to learn all that you can so that you can coach your challengers through it. Because inevitably you're going to have somebody that wants to go through the program with you, right? So you should come in there and learn about it. There's going to be so much knowledge. And obviously the coaches that are in there going through it and posting their results and their progress, they have the opportunity to also be featured in future um, mini infomercials that we're doing because we are still doing other kinds of infomercials. They're just not the long version ones that you normally see on TV. So they have the chance to be featured on there. But like I said, the biggest part of this is the accountability that you're going to get from myself and the other coaches that, you're, that are in there and the knowledge that you're going to get about going through the program. Like that is huge. So make that commitment to yourself, to your job. You're not going to get this training anywhere else. Um, I'm super excited about it. The, the um, nutrition information goes live on Beachbody On Demand on January 8th. I will start talking in that coach test group on January 10th. So the coach test group, even though um, as you buy your, your challenge packs, you, you'll get added to the group if you so choose, your, if you request to be in there. Um, it, you won't be able to post, just so you guys know. The feature for people to be able to post will be locked until January 10th. Because we don't want people in there a month beforehand posting so many things that everybody is like sort of talking and having their own conversation before I get in that group. So um, as of, I think maybe even January 8th, they'll unlock that so that you guys can start posting. On January 10th, I'll get in there and start talking about the nutrition program. So you're going to want to be in there by January 10th. The reason I bring that up is we are adding people to that group from December 14th to January 14th. After that, even if you buy a, a bundle, you, you won't be added in. If you buy a bundle on January 15th, you won't get added into the group. But you know I can only pin one thing to the top of the page a day. That's the way Facebook makes it. So on January 10th, I'm going to start pinning whatever video I do or whatever it is. On January 11th, when I do the next video, the January 10th one is just going to go into the feed. If you're not in the group, you're probably going to miss that video because you're going to have to search through thousands and thousands of posts to try to find what I said. So make your investment early when the packs go on sale on December 14th. Get your pack then because it'll take a few days to get added to the group. Obviously, there's going to be lots of people buying and, and going into there, so it's going to take some time. All right. That's awesome. Well, you guys, now you know, invest. And let me tell you that those bands, they snap. So you're going to need a lot of them. And sometimes you're going to wear three at a time when you start getting really, really strong. So you're going to need them. And you can always gift them. The, the sliders. Guys, think big picture. Big picture. You want to learn with, from Autumn. I've been in two of her test groups. And let me tell you, you want to learn. She's got a ton of knowledge. She shares it all with you. So get in there, learn, and then you can go share that wealth with your teams and your challengers. So, Adam, I think that's it. Um, okay. I don't have anything else for you. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for having me on. Um, have a great rest of your night. Happy holidays. But, you know, I know the holidays are here, but we got a lot of work to do and a lot of people to help. I'm super duper excited. So, thanks for taking the time to jump on with me. And hopefully, I'll see you guys all in that coach test group. Thank you so much, Autumn. We appreciate your time and you're, you're amazing. Thank you for 80 Day Obsession. Thanks, guys. Good night. Good night, Autumn. All right. Chris, can't hear you. There's people jumping off. Don't jump no, off. No, no, don't jump off. There's no, more. It's not over. <laughs> we have more. <laughs> oh, I see people jumping off. You guys, there's still so much more we got to talk about. I know it's late, but this is one of those calls that we just got to hammer through. I hope you guys really enjoyed Autumn's, um, you know, talking about this program. Every time, she, every time I hear her speak about it, I can sense her passion, and it gets me even, like, more fired up about it. Um, let me just say before I turn it over to Becky to share on uh, a little bit about mindset and then we have Monica and Mindy also sharing a little bit about the program. We promise we're going to try to get um, done real fast. 
so many good questions were posted on this thread, you guys. We are not ignoring them. That's why it's so important to be in the A Little Obsessed group because let's, let's post these questions in our Diesel Nation A Little Obsessed group so we can answer them. Yes, there's a vegan plan. Yes, you can eat time nutrition if you work in the morning. Yeah, I mean, there's all these things. We can totally address them as someone, as people that have gone through the process, okay? Once the meal plan comes out, it will be uploaded on Beachbody On Demand on January 8th, make note of that. Um, we, we're planning um, to host a Zoom call to kind of really just dig into the meal plan, right? After the, the meal plan is released, after you've had a chance to study it and start preparing, let's jump on a Zoom call and we're gonna do that for you guys. Um, there's questions about recover and energize and are there suggested um, uh, supplements if you are um, vegan and you can't drink recover because recover does have whey in it. All of that, we're going to talk about that in, in a little obsessed, in our Diesel Nation, a little obsessed group, which will then turn into Diesel Nation Gets Obsessed. So all of that will be addressed. Betty, take us away on the mindset necessary to absolutely crush this program. Am I frozen? You are frozen, but we can hear you. Okay, so, okay, whatever. I'll just keep going. All right, I have so much going on in my head right now because the mindset, I think, of this program is just, it's crucial, right? Um, I see a lot of questions going on about meal plans and this and that. Guys, let's move away from that for a second because you know what? You're not going to get it for another month. So stop driving yourself crazy about something that you can't do anything about right now. It's going to provide complete discipline in your life. Yes, it's going to be hard the first week. Yes, you're going to have to make adjustments to your life. It, face it, if you want to change your body and change your life and change your fitness forever, you're going to have to accept that changes are going to be made. And that all starts and stems from a decision that you have to make right now. Um, that means that you start working on strengthening your mindset. You start looking at what your goals are and being real with yourself. If you want a six pack like mine, then right now you have to say no alcohol, eat 100% clean per the meal plan, do whatever it takes, push hard. So you got to measure what your mindset is towards your goals and what the sacrifices that you're willing to put in to this program. Because let me tell you, this program will change your body. It will change your life, but it's not going to be easy. And I say it all the time because I don't sugarcoat it. This program is not easy. It is challenging. There are days that suck. There are workouts that suck. There are ones that are harder than others for me. But you know what? You just do it anyway. I would prime myself every day. I would affirm in my mind that I was going to make it happen. And I would just tackle every move, every rep with the biggest intention of my life because I just believed in Autumn so much and I knew that the program was special. But you have to decide and you have to quit making excuses about why you can't reach another level in your life. This program will not only transform your body, but it will transform your mind. It will transform your attitude. It will transform your business. If you just let go of the stories and the things that you keep telling yourself why you can't show up for an hour workout. Yes, you can do the workout at whatever time you want to do throughout the day. That will all be spelled out for you. But right now you need to really determine, do I really want this? Because 80 days is a long time. It's three months. It's actually 90 days. It's 13 weeks, 80 workouts. Um, it's going to test you, but you got to you gotta decide. Okay. Decide now. When I remember when Christy and I got the first email, we were like 80 days. Whoa. Holy crap. And I'm like, well, okay, I've done 60. I can do 20 more. Okay. What's 20 more. Right. And let me tell you, I had, we had this golden nugget that was thrown out to us about being in the video. That to me was like the biggest goal ever of life because that's the one thing I've never accomplished. And then it was taken away, but it didn't matter to me because I already knew that what we were a part of was special and that this program itself was already transforming me in ways that no other beach body program had transformed my life. And it was because I decided on day one that I was going to take it day by day. It was going to be a meal by meal thing. It was, I wasn't going to worry about day 80 on day one. 
nor was I going to worry about day seven on day one. I tackled every day as it came and just killed it as much as I could. Some days I did better than others, and that's okay. I didn't beat myself up. And that's what you guys need to move away from, these quick fix, these, these, um, the weight and the scale and, and these things that are distracting you from the big picture. This is, is a lifetime investment. If you go 80 days, I promise you, you're not going to go back. But you need to get through this and stop thinking that you're going to transform your body in one phase. It's not going to happen. And like Autumn said, if, you, if, the, if it was promised to you in 30 days and it didn't happen, then fine, walk away. But this is 80 days. And it's gonna, from a lot of you, it's going to take more than one round. Accept that now. Accept that this is lifetime. Accept that fitness and nutrition is a lifetime investment. It is not 21 day fix. This is 80 day obsession. For me, it's a lifetime obsession. And it all stems from a decision to put yourself first, to put your, your, to learning that nutrition is not, it is not um, deprivation. It's not 1200 calories. It's not fucking plan A. Get, sorry, get out of plan A. Use the, the food as fuel to run the show here. You have to get out of that mentality, that short-term mentality that you keep sabotaging yourself. The tools, this is tested, it's proven, it works. Now it's up to you to do the damn work. We're gonna be here every step of the way to help you. We're gonna, we're gonna help you figure out the nutrition plan. We promise you, once it's released, it's not going to crush you, I promise you. Just let down the walls, let down the excuses, and just accept that this is going to challenge you and it's going to change you in the process all for the better. And the last thing I'm going to say is we need to move away. I know I was the first one, okay? The, I wanted abs on abs, okay? That was my second goal. Get in the videos. I wanted a 12-pack, if that's even possible. That's like ridiculous. But I moved away from that now because now I'm like, okay, fine. I had the abs. But now um, my focus is to teaching you that it's not only about the abs. It's about how can I be better today than I was yesterday or that, or how can I lift more today than I lifted last week? And if it wasn't for this program, my mind would have never shifted in this way. And all I see for myself and to teach women is that we need to use fitness and nutrition to help us feel good, to help us step up in life, to rise up and to focus on daily progress. It's not about the scale. It's not about the six pack. It's about how you feel. It's how it's the light that you emit every single day and it's how you own your life. So let this program be that driving force to step up in your life and to really take control of what's going on. That's, it. That's my Go girl. Does anybody want to do this program now? I know I do. I'm doing it. Sorry for the F bomb. I get excited. Uh, <laughs> early on, I'm just going to, before I turn it over to Monica, who's going to talk briefly, um, early on in the test group, uh, Amy Silverman said something that really struck with me. In fact, I wrote a blog post about it. And if you guys know, if you go to my blog, you can read my journey with ADD obsession, which is, is quite different than my sister's, right? I was in a position before I started this program where I had gained a ton of weight, um, you know, despite being a, a beach body coach, kind of lost my way and used this term balance uh, to my detriment um, and not to my benefit where I was not following a nutrition plan and drinking wine every night. And well, that's called balance. And society says we have to be happy, right? And, and that's balance. Uh, well, balance doesn't work. Um, uh, and Amy said something early on in the test group that really struck with me and I wrote a blog post. She said, the longer the program, the more sustainable the results. And this was something really big to me because uh, when I was in the 21 day, 21 day fix test group, um, I did really well. And if you were to look at my results after 21 days, it, it's like insane what I did with the 21 day fix program. And it's insane what I did with 80 dip session, but there's two huge differences between my after picture and 21 day fix and my after picture with 80 day obsession. Um, in those 21 days, I felt miserable. I felt deprived. I felt everything was being taken from me that I liked and I was doing it for the picture. I wasn't doing it for the lifestyle. 
with 80 day obsession, I, I flipped my thinking to what is this giving me? It's giving me freedom from alcohol. It's giving me the freedom to be in control of nutrition. It's giving me the freedom and the, and the control over my fitness and not vice versa. And so instead of seeing it as this 80 day, incredibly long process, which at the very beginning it did, it was like, oh my God, 80 days and it's my birthday and we're doing all these things in the next 80 days. Um, I saw it as what can this program provide to me? And I knew that going into this with that long-term mindset would change the game and it absolutely has because I'm still doing time nutrition. Like someone said, um, so after 80 days, what feasible nutrition plan can we do? And I kind of chuckled. I'm like, this is the feasible nutrition plan that you're going to follow because you're going to love structure. My business is jamming right now, you guys, because I'm so structured in the way that I conduct my days now, revolving around my workout and having my meals timed that I take my Shakeology with me. And it's just, it's this well-oiled machine. So instead of looking at this as I'm, t it's, it's taking away my morning workout or it's taking away my alcohol, or it's taking away all this stuff, like flip it and say, what is this giving me? And if in May or June or July of 2018, you still look as good or better than you did in April of 2018 when you finished this program, like that's what we need to be shooting for, right? Instead of just doing these 21 day cycles, which are great, I love the 21 day fix and I start so many customers on it, but you guys here that are ready to take yourself and your business to the next level, accept this as your lifestyle now, the obsessed lifestyle. Okay, Monica, are you there? Monica? I'm here, I'm oh. here, I'm here, I'm here. Sorry, I'm trying to do the IG, I'm trying to be on here, I'm like all over the place. All right, guys, my name is Monica Lopez, and I was also a part of the 80 Day Test Group, so I am I love PowerPoint presentations. I'm going to do that, share with you guys real quick. Ooh, sorry, give me one second. Screen share. Where'd it go? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, of course, technical difficulties. Shh, shh, shh. Desktop. Screen share. All right, here we go. So my results, here they are. For me, um, this we got notice of being in the test group dead in the middle of summer. So the same little trap Christina was in, was, which was that balance trap. We were enjoying a life a little too much, vacationing, boating days, all this good stuff. And I realized that I was slipping, slipping from my health and fitness, even though, like Christina said, we are coaches and this is what we live for. But that balance started to kind of un unravel. And for me, in the 80th day of session, came at the perfect time in my life. And I took it as, yes, it was a test group. Yes, it was a privilege. Yes, it was a responsibility. But more than anything, I hashtagged and I said to myself, I want to reinvent myself. I want to start like from scratch and I want to reinvent who I am. And that's a mindset that I went into. I felt the same way. No alcohol for 30, uh, 80 days. Um, we also had multiple trips, vacations planned. But all of that, I went like for a split second, I was like, can I do this? And then I said, no, I'm going to do this. And it was a decision made and I went all in. Um, you guys are going to get that opportunity now. For me, 13 pounds down, 12 inches all over my body. And I want to piggyback on what Autumn was saying because I think this is so important. There were days, guys, that I would jump on the scale and the, the numbers went up. Yet my clothes was fitting looser, uh, inches were falling off. Like I would take pictures and I would be like, my body is just completely changing in the way that it's, it, you know, it's structured and the muscles and all this kind of stuff. So get off the scale. Don't get obsessed with that. Get obsessed with all the things that these ladies are telling you, which is what you get in every single day and, and the weight you're lifting and the changes that you're seeing and feeling. All right. So enough of that. Let's talk about the road to obsession. I'm going to talk to you guys about the challenge group level. Whether you're on this call right now and you are a, a coach, right? And you've been running challenge groups for a while now and you're saying, okay, well, I'm going to be in the test group now. That should be extra exciting. Or if you are a challenger that's about to embark on your very first program, wherever you land, I want you to know that it starts 
with you. The experience is going to be as good as you are or as boring as you are. What do I mean by that? Even though we were in a test group with Autumn, it was my responsibility, number one, to show up every day and, and show up and share and take the time to treat this test group that, that not just what I'm going to get from it, but what am I going to give to it? I was in this test group with 80 other coaches and I could have gone in, done my workout every day and just checked off that I did it, but I chose to go in there and participate. I chose to be a voice. I chose to share what I was doing because I knew that it was going to add value to the group as a whole. And I knew that it was going to also aid me. It was going to help me because I was, I was treating it like it was my, my place to go, my place where people would understand me and whatever I was sharing, they have something to say about it. And whatever they share, I would grab from it and it'd make my journey that more exciting. It would make me that more committed to it. And it's just something that's, that you have to commit to. A lot of times we get put in challenge groups and all, you know, and Adam said it, you know, you're going to see a lot of people posting, talking and all these conversations going. And all of a sudden we start to shy away and we don't show up and we don't go in there. We just quietly start working at home. While that may work for some people, I want you to know that you have an obligation here to be a part of something bigger than you. And, and, and part of that is showing up, participating, treating it, it, gathering your thoughts. So for me, I would always gather my thoughts right after the workout because that's when I was most fired up. That's when I had the most feeling running through my veins and I'll get out there and share. If you're going to be in the coach test group, how many times did you hear Autumn say, oh, and so-and-so posted this. I, you know, I would text message them and help them out. Or I go in there and post a live video to answer their question. She listens. She listens, but she, you're only going to be on her radar and you're all, she's only going to be there to help you and help your journey if you're present and, and going in there every single day and showing up. All right. So starts with you. Next thing I'm going to talk about is tips, tips on how you can get out there and leverage what you're about to embark on, whether you're a coach or whether you're just a challenger right now and you're just wrapping your head around getting through these 80 days, getting out there and sharing. Listen, somebody got out there and shared this for you to get excited, for you to realize that this was something that you could, you could start, that you could do. So pay that forward. At the very least, pay that forward. So number one, I'm going to tell you, get out there and share your intent. When I started the, the, the test group, and even before I even had um, this test group in my hands, any other program I've ever done as a coach, I always get out there and show, I was very transparent on where I was in life, how I was feeling, what I, what I was about to do. And I, and I talked to the person that was out there like me to let them know, listen, if this is you to, I've got a solution. I've got, you know, I've got a plan for you. And guess what else it did? It held me extra, extra, extra accountable for what I just said I was going to do. Because now I just put it out into the universe and I said, listen, this is where I'm going. This is what I'm doing. And when I knew that I was already put it out into the universe, it was, it, I made it my mission to make it happen. So get out there and share your intent, whatever your reasons are right now for maybe, maybe some of you feel like you're going to flip your world upside down doing the 80 day obsession, figure out your reasons, figure out your why and get out there and share that and put it out into the universe because that what you put out, you will get back. All right. Two, don't be afraid to get out there and share the results of the test group. Us that just finished wrapping it up in October. There is a plethora of amazing results for every, every, you know, goal weight, every body, every uh, ethnicity, um, male, female, age, what you name it. We had someone in the test group that would fit a description. And what I did is I went out there and shared the results of everyone because, and I can't tell you how many messages I got back that said, Oh, you know, the girl that was wearing the purple sports bra on the black shorts, that's me. That's my body. And, and it created this idea of if she can, I can, or if he can, I can. And you want to create that because you, what we want to do, whether you're a coach or not, just be a good human and put, get out there and, and share hope, share this idea that we can do hard things and that everybody struggles. And by going out there and doing that, you're just going to make someone's day better. You're going to give them a piece of hope and possibly bring in someone to join you on this adventure. All right. So don't be afraid to share the test group results. Three, make sure you test, share about the upcoming 2018 test group that's happening in January, because if if it sparked your interest, if it sparked the next person and they may think they may need this business opportunity in their life right now. And so by getting out there and being loud about it, um, it could turn into something really amazing. 
uh, starting December 14th. You guys know this Thursday, we got the $10 incentive. Talk about that too. I don't know about you, but if you just wave a free t-shirt in my face, I'm like, me, me, me. I want to save $10. You know, I can't wait for December 14th. So share that as well. It's the holidays and people are looking for ways to save money while still uh, making the investment in themselves to get started right come January. And then lastly, I'm going to say, get excited, get excited, get freaking excited because your excitement is contagious. My excitement is contagious. And I can tell you, just like Christina finished saying, this test group, you know, it, 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 what it, what it built for me inside was this, this, um, it, it's vibe, this certainty. I was, I knew what I was doing. I was on point. I wasn't faking it. And that came out of my pores. Every conversation I had, it came out of me. Um, I spoke with excitement and that's why I started to get people attracted to me and attracted to this journey. And so many of you guys are on this call right now, right? Do that for yourself because it's contagious. And if I can, you can, and together we all can. And it creates this huge movement where guys, 80 day obsession is going to change lives everywhere, everywhere. If you allow it to, but I'm going to say what I started with, which is it starts with you. So tonight I want you guys to know that you're not in this alone. You've got all of us to support, but it's time to make the commitment. It's time to switch that mindset. Um, I remember I had that five seconds of doubt and then I switched the mindset and I said, I am going all in. So that's all I got for you guys. I'm going to pass it over to Mindy. I don't know, Chris, if you want to say anything between that or pass it on to Mindy, who's going to talk about nutrition and trusting the process in that end. Yeah. You there, no, Mindy? Good. Mindy, Mindy, take it over. Good job, Mo. Okay. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting off. All right. So, um, can y'all hear me? Okay. So I have been in three test groups and the first test group I was in was in, uh, was Pio in 2014. And some of you have commented in the chat thing about alcohol. Um, everybody's kind of said their piece about that, but I went, um, 60 day, well actually like 31 days in the first phase of Pio without alcohol. And then the second phase, um, I had an anniversary and a birthday party and I drank, um, two beverages each. And so that was where I saw how much alcohol affected me. So I know that a lot of you are already doing what many people were doing in the beginning of the test group. Like, Oh my God, I have this coming up, I have this coming up, I have this coming up. And you start sabotaging yourself and putting that seat, you know, seed of doubt in your head. And I'll tell you that I'm two years sober and a huge part of why I got sober was because I proved to myself in Pio that I could do it. And so not everybody has a problem with alcohol, um, but I know a lot of people reach out to me. And so that gave me that chance. And so if you're worrying about what alcohol, going without alcohol, you might reevaluate where you stand. Um, but if you want the results, you need to go all in. And so looking at this plan, it was really imperative that we followed the it to a T because we were representing our, our autumn, our friend, we are representing this program and we want the same for you. And so when we got this, we scoured through it. And so I'm so happy that you guys were asking, when is this coming out? And it comes out before it launches. So this gives you time to soak in, um, to prepare yourself ahead of time. And now is the time between now and, and January 14th to start getting your eating in, in order to use the, the containers. But what I did was to make sure that I was setting myself up for success was looking at when I was going to work out with us, we had a certain set time we were working out because we were doing it live with autumn when they were, they were filming it, but you might be different. So I like today uh, while we were on the call, I would suggest doing what I did. You probably can't see it, but I wrote down, um, my meal one, my workout, my meal two, three, four, and five. So you need to pick out when you're going to work out. And then that's when you start adjusting your meal times. And so for everybody, it's going to be different. You may still want to stick to your morning workouts and you might actually have to get up about a half an hour earlier to do that meal one, which is your shakeology. And then a half an hour later work out, or you may be um, somebody who has the, the ability to eat the, the, the pre-workout meal and wait the hour to 90 minutes to work out. It depends on you. You set yourself up for success by planning ahead. And then once I set those times, guess what? I went into my phone and I set an alarm to remind myself to eat because this is part of the plan. You want the results. If you do half of, half of the, the, the work, you're going to get half the results. And so this is something that's really important. So right now I want you to start by 
picking out what calorie bracket you fall into for whatever program you're doing that includes the containers and start setting alarms in your phone to eat every two and a half to three hours and making sure that you're getting in that that you know system and pick a workout time right now because you already know what time's gonna work for you because I'm pretty sure your schedule is not gonna change drastically between now and January 15th so start setting yourself up for this and this is where we're here to help you your coach our group and uh, it's a lot of people talking about lack of support we're all here there was like 400 people on this call so I know that there's 400 people that that want the same thing as you're going in for and that's results so make sure that you're getting yourself ready for that and I'm just gonna be completely transparent I've been dealing with a lot of weight issues and food issues and I went through a lot of tests a lot of process of elimination and recently I took an allergy test found out that it was some food that I, I was eating that um, was ca causing a lot of health issues but I followed the plan to a T the entire time and I will tell you that the workouts were challenging um, there were times where I was like god this is hard but I have never been able to do an hour workout especially 80 in a row or 13 weeks in a row and get through it but I felt victorious at the end of each one I never wanted to hit, uh, hit pause I never skipped a workout I never jumped you know and 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 missed you know the last 10 minutes or anything like I done before because a lot of times I'd be like well I've done this you know this much what, what's what's 10 minutes but I crushed it and I've never felt that way even in the beginning of my journey when I was doing P90X but since I finished we traveled to Vegas for leadership I've been trying to figure out my health issues and I started to not necessarily not trust the process, but wondering what was wrong with me. So I've been trying all sorts of different things, intermittent fasting, carb cycling. I, I've tried um, high fat, um, low carb, trying to see if anything made me feel better while I was waiting for all these uh, you know, test results to come back. And I'll tell you that I've kept up with my workouts, but you know what? I've missed days of working out. I've not finish the whole hour workout I laid on the floor and pushed pause and thought I was going to die so no matter I still had the same issues the same health issues and the stuff going on but I ate by the plan and I was able to get through the workouts and I was able to not skip any any days and so I'll tell you that there's no coincidence that eating the way it was prescribed and trying different things didn't work and so if you're somebody who's not been able to, to get through workouts, it's probably your nutrition. And I'll tell you that when I did Pio and those two days that I drank two beers, I couldn't get up my work with my workout the next day. And your nutrition is so tied to your performance, your energy, your health, and everything. So if you want the most out of this and you want to start 2018 off on the right foot, follow the plan. Just follow the freaking process. Follow the plan. And that's all I really have. I could say more, but I was trying to condense it because I know we've been on here for a long time. <laughs> this is like the longest team call in the history of team calls, but it's so good. So Mindy, Monica, thank you so much. Uh, you guys, I'm going to try to wrap this up as quickly as possible. Um, I want to talk to you about going all in with the packs that are going to be available on Thursday. Also getting your customers to go all in with this. Because we all know that when we step it up, right? I, I'm so big on this concept that if you want to take yourself to the next level, you have to like, you have to invest. You have to go all in. And when you do that, you become a magnet for other people because your energy just shifts. And that's exactly what's going on in my business right now because I went through this process and like, I'm so excited that in just a few days and then in just a few weeks after that, you get to start this process of being a magnet, of transforming your life, your body, getting obsessed with nutrition and getting obsessed with hardcore fitness that you start like just, gathering people and motivating people and inspiring people. So I want to talk to you about what happened to me early on in my business and how it relates to what happened now to kind of highlight the importance of what's happening on Thursday. So, I, you know, guys, I've been a coach for a really long time. I've been doing this for seven and a half years. And even before the 21 day fix and fix extreme and all of those programs, there was this program that came out in 2000. I want to say it launched in 2011 for a start date of January. I believe we started on January like third or fourth, 2012. And this little program was called P90X2. 
Um, I can probably guarantee that of the 400 and something people we had on this call, maybe three or four of you have ever done this program start to finish. It is literally one of the most intense, crazy workouts that Beachbody's ever put out. It's Tony Horton's, it's part two of P9DX, P9DX2. Right before that program launched, um, Beachbody started selling these bundles, right, for this program. And there was this bundle that had the medicine balls and the stands, and then there was this bundle that had the medicine balls and more stands and more balls, and then it had a DVDs on Blu-ray. I mean, like this thing was gigantic. And I remember sitting in front of that computer the day of the launch and saying, I'm going all in, all in. I don't care what I'm doing this program. I'm going all in. And I invested in the package that I literally, it literally weighed like 300 pounds. I don't even know how much shipping was, but you know, that's, it's crazy. And this big package arrived at my house and it had all the balls and it had the, the, the stands and it had the Blu-ray DVDs. And I didn't even have a Blu-ray DVD player, but I needed the best of the best. Right. So I had this whole thing and I crushed the out of that program. I have to dig up my transformation pictures from way back then, but I did that program start to finish. And it was because I had skin in the game. It's because I said, I'm going to do this. I'm going to invest in myself. This is important to me. This is important to my business and I'm going all in. And I did just that. So what's happened over the course of the last year and a half is we have this thing called Beachbody on Demand, right? And Beachbody on Demand is awesome. It's amazing. Someone just said, I don't have Beachbody on Demand. I'm like, where have you been the last year and a half? You know what I mean? Like everybody needs Beachbody on Demand because it has all of our programs at your fingertips. Now there's a problem with Beachbody on Demand. People don't have skin in the game anymore, right? You have everything you need right at your fingertips you, you click a few buttons and your workout pops up you can do insanity max 30 you can do country heat you can do 21 day fix i mean like the it's chaos in beach and man because there's so much to choose from and then a program comes out and you're like well that's cool but i already have it because it's part of my subscription and so i'll get to that later right or perhaps because you don't really see the value i won't try as hard because it just came in my subscription, right? And so there's been this thing that has created this lack of skin in the game where people are not as intensely focused on their fitness. I saw it in me. I'm not making generalizations or pointing fingers. I'm just saying this is what happened to me. I didn't have skin in the game. And someone is unmuted there. Okay. And so what happened was we went to the cab meeting coach advisory meeting and we realized and pinpointed that this was a problem in the network while beach by the man is the best insanest value that we can possibly have and every customer is, needs it right because it has everything at their fingertips what was missing was this concept of investing of saying, I'm going to do this program and I'm going to do it because I invested in it. It was almost tantamount to, do you remember way back eight years ago when people used to have burnt DVD copies and no one that had burnt DVD copies would finish a program, right? Because they didn't invest in them. They didn't pay $119 for P90X. By the way, P90X costs $119. Insanity costs $119, right? So BOD is kind of tantamount to that, right? You pay that, that subscription fee one time per year, and then it's like there's no skin in the game. So we said we need skin in the game. Our coaches need skin in the game. Our customers need skin in the game. How can we do this with 80-day obsession because this program's hard? Becky talked about it. Monica talked about it. Minnie talked about it. It's hard. Right? We're not going to sugarcoat this. Some of the workouts someone was asking are all the workouts an hour? No, the cardio workouts are not an hour. The weightlifting workouts are for, for the most part. In fact, some of the workouts I did last week were like 54, 55 minutes, but today's was 58. So it really kind of varies. You, you've got to really want this, right? Can we, can we all agree that you really want, you want to, you got to want this. And so how do we add 
that skin in the game and it's these packages that are coming out, right? Where you are putting a, an investment in to get your loops, to get your sliders, to get your program materials, to get your Shakeology, and yes, we're going to say it's absolutely necessary for this program, and not just for 80 Day Obsession, you guys, for life. That's another team call we can talk about, but yes, Shakeology, and then the addition of the performance supplements. I don't think anyone mentioned it, but all of us used Energize and Recover like it was our job because it was necessary. Not because we just want to sell you a product or anything like that. It's because, well, I mean, pretty much every coach, I think, in just Energize, it's like life, right? It's like the unicorn powder. It gives you energy. It causes focus and and intensity in your workouts, it's absolutely phenomenal. But recover is this new concept probably for a lot of people. And you'll see as Autumn talks through the program, and I'm sure she's gonna do a lot of this in the coach test group, recover replaces the glycogen in your muscles. This is a very important concept in 80 day obsession. You might have heard the term refeed, a few times, do you guys, that, that's part of the nutrition plan where the day before leg day, you get to eat white carbs, you get to drink juice and certain things to, to replenish your muscles with, with glycogen so that in leg day, you just crush that shit and it's like amazing what happens to your body. And so Recover does that for you on a daily basis. Not to mention, these are really intense workouts and it prevents soreness. So just a funny story. There's 20 servings in a tub of Recover, and my husband and I were both in the test group. So we would go through one tub every 10 dates, or every 10 workouts, because you don't work out on Sundays. That was another question. Answer, ching. Okay, so every 10 workouts, Danny and I would finish Recover. There were times where I would run out, and I'd be, Becky, do you have Recover? No, but Monica, do you have Recover? No, and I literally would just call coaches and message coaches, and then Anna, who lives down the block, had recover. I would go and pay Anna. It was like a drug deal because I couldn't go without recover. And you'll 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 see the in my head the way that I saw recover. Not only was it necessary for the workouts, but it almost became my sixth meal. And in mentally, that was a big deal that I was eating six times because you'll see in the nutrition plan. When you have your recover, you also have a purple. You have a fruit with it. So it was like after your workout, you're sweaty, hot, messy. You took your selfie, you did your video, and then you drink your recover and you have your pineapple. Or your it was a thing, right? And you, I don't know. Anyway, it was so good. And 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 this is the response for going all in, for putting skin in the game. And I see it over and over and over again. When you do that, it creates results. If not, it's just going to be another program that you dabble in and don't do it. So on Thursday, on Thursday, you have an opportunity to draw the line in the sand. So do your customers. I know we have some customers watching this. You have a, a, an opportunity to draw a line in the sand and say, am I going all in or I'm going to dip my toe in the water? If you want to get amazing results with the program, play the game mentally. And that's what I'm going to say. You play the game mentally by going all in and purchasing your package. If you're a coach, getting into Autumn's test group. If you're not a coach, consider becoming one. And you could talk to whoever invited you to this call to do that. Absolutely not required. But if this is important to you, set yourself up for success. Set yourself up for success. I have customers right now who are investing in the mega pack. The one that sets you up for success for three months. Like I have no doubt that person will succeed with this program, right? No doubt. Absolutely. So I want you guys to take all this information. This is the longest call in the history of calls of our team. Recording will go up. You guys can, you know, send your, your customers the chunks that you want them to listen to by just telling them what time frame to listen for. Um, but I hope you guys are excited for this program. Um, I, I'm one that would crush a program for 21 days and then crush McDonald's for 21 days and ruin all my results. I'm not doing this. Even in the holidays, you guys, 
even in the holidays. Yes, I'm having my cocktails here and there, and that's cool. Still eating time nutrition, still pushing play every day, like I was in the test group. Like I, These workouts to me, it's like, don't miss a day, don't miss a day, don't miss a day. You get into this routine, and then also the mantra of never miss a rep. That was me, never miss a rep. Every time I started a, a rep sequence, never miss a rep. Even if I was, my weights were too heavy, too light, the bands were too tight, it didn't, didn't matter, never miss a rep. That mindset got me through this program, and uh, it's been really life-changing. I hope this program changes your life. So um, I, it's almost 11 o'clock. So let's go to sleep, you guys. Autumn said we had to sleep. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Love you guys. Recording will go up in just a little bit. Bye.